वेलकम टू शेखर मैथ्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू ऑब्जर्व सेवेंथ क्लास मैथमेटिक्स की टू द बिट्स ऑफ एस ए वन मॉडल पेपर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू प्रिपेयर बाई मी नाउ लेट अस सी द बिट्स मल्टीपल चॉइस फोर्टीन क्वेश्चन माइनस थ्री प्लस फाइव इज इक्वल टू फाइव प्लस माइनस थ्री इन द स्टेटमेंट आइडेंटिफाई द ला ऑब्जर्व दैट माइनस थ्री फाइव ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड आर जस्ट इंटरचेंज फाइव एंड माइनस थ्री ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड सो इट इज कॉल्ड द कामिटेटिव प्रॉपर्टी सो द करेक्ट चॉइस इज बी नाउ फिफ्टीन फाइव बै एट ऑफ टू बै थ्री अबर्व द वर्ड ऑफ इट इंडिकेट्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो फाइव बै एट इंटू टू बै थ्री सो आन सिंप्लीफिकेशन बै टू टू वन सार टू फोर सार In the numerator, five into one is five. In the denominator, four into three is twelve. So answer is five by twelve. So the correct choice is C. Now number sixteen. Number of decimal places in the product of forty-eight point two three into zero point two. Observe that the number of decimal places in the first decimal number is two, and in the second number is one. So total three. So the correct choice is B. Now seventeen. 1.3004 पॉइंट थ्री जीरो जीरो फोर इंटू विच नंबर इज इक्वल टू वन थौजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड पॉइंट फोर अबर्व दट द डिसमल पॉइंट इज आन द लेफ्ट सैड आफ थ्री हंड्रेड एंड इट इज मूव टू रईट सैड आफ थ्री हंड्रेड सो इट इज शुड बी मल्टीप्लाइड विथ ए नंबर विच हेज थ्री जीरो साफ्ट वन दट इज वन थौजेंड सो द करेक्ट चॉइस इज ए नाउ एटीन द फ्रैक्शन आफ फोर बै टेन कैन बी रिटर्न इन डेसीमल फॉर्म observe that there is only one zero after one in the denominator so we have to put a decimal point on the left side of 4 that is 0.4 so the correct choice is b now 19th question if x plus 5 is equal to 8 then x is equal to dash observe that 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 on the right hand side so the correct choice is a 20 one right angle is equal to dash degrees 90 degrees So the correct choice is D. Twenty-one. In the given figure, angle ABC is equal to dash. Observe that BOC is a straight line, so it has an angle of one eighty degrees. So right side angle is eighty degrees, then left side angle must be hundred degrees because hundred plus eighty is equal to one eighty. So the correct choice is B. Now twenty-two. In triangle PQR, angle P is equal to sixty-five degrees, angle Q is equal to fifty degrees, angle R is equal to how much? We know that sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So angle R is equal to 180 degrees minus of sum of 65 plus 50. So 180 degrees minus 115 degrees, which is equal to 65 degrees. So the correct choice is A. Now 23rd question. In the figure, angle AC is equal to dash. Observe that sum of the angles in triangle ABC is equal to 180 degrees. So angle C is equal to 180 minus 60 plus 73. That is equal to 47 degrees. Observe that BCD is a straight line. So it has an angle of 180 degrees. So on the left side of angle C, it is 47 degrees. So right side angle must be 133 degrees. Then only 47 plus 133 becomes 180 degrees. So the correct choice is B. Fill out the blanks. Twenty fourth question in the figure x is equal to dash. Observe that in triangle PQR, PQ and PR both are equal sides. Both have the same length of four centimeters. So the angles opposite to that sides also equal. So sixty five degrees and x both are equal. So we can say that x is equal to sixty five degrees. Now twenty five. Sum of the three interior angles of a triangle is equal to dash degrees. It is one eighty degrees. Now number twenty six. Supplementary angle of thirty six degrees is equal to dash. It is nothing but one eighty degrees minus thirty six degrees, which gives one hundred and forty four degrees. So one forty four degrees. Now twenty seven question. In the figure, angle AOB is equal to forty five degrees. Then angle DOE is equal to dash. Observe that AD, BE, CF are the intersecting lines. So Vertically opposite angles are equal, so angle DOE is also equal to 45 degrees. So the answer is 45 degrees. Now 28. Equation for mathematical statement x decreased by 5 is 14. Observe that first x, so right x decreased by 5 indicates minus 5. 
is 14 indicates equal to 14. So, x minus 5 is equal to 14 is the equation. Now, 29th bit, 169.28 divided by 100. Observe that there are two zeros in the denominator. So, the decimal point should shift left side after two digits. So, 1.6928. Now, 30 bit, 24.183 into 1000. Observe that there are three zeros in the multiplicand. So, the decimal point should shift to right side after three digits. So, it becomes 24,183. Now, 31, 0.45 divided by 0.9 is equal to. Observe that the numerator has two decimal points. Denominator has one decimal point. So, the quotient has one decimal point that is 0 0.5. Now 32, absolute value of minus 700, that is modulus of minus 700 is always equal to positive number 700, so answer is 700. Now 33, multiplicative identity of z is, it is equal to 1, so it is written and prepared by Shaker Maths. I advise you, practice some more bits. Best of luck. Thanks for watching video. Don't forget to subscribe. Say karmas.